Morning YouTube, this is Debbie. And I thought I would show you what I'm gonna do for my Christmas planner this year. I'm gonna try to keep the glare off this. I bought this the year before last after Christmas. And it's one of the little recollections uh, Christmas planner that they came out with. And I went through, I, I deck, they had the plain paper, I went through and put die cuts on them and decorated them. And it has three months worth of calendars in here. So he started in October. I made a lot of uh, mistakes in this one. But uh, it didn't click in my head to, uh, I always do a December daily, but it didn't click in my head until about the 21st of October to uh, every day in um, like October, or you know, well I do it in December. and. Uh, for 25 days on a calendar, every day I'll write down a little something that I did to get rid of, ready for Christmas or to celebrate Christmas. And uh, it's kind of like a journal to Christmas. Well, this has this starts in October, so about the 21st of October, it clicked in my head. Oh well, I can do it for uh, October and no November. Uh, my kids came last year, and I don't get to see my kids for Christmas very often. So it was a special thing for me. So I, I went through and I uh, kind of just did a little quick something every day uh, for November through uh, December. This is my Christmas cards that I made last year. And I stuck one of those in there. And I did this for like a little memory thing. And it has the, the little calendars in here. And I'd write down events that were coming up. And uh, this one is, uh, I decorated the little cover. And some of them, I just whited out the tabs because them tabs didn't apply to me. Um, this was like budget. I don't budget for Christmas. I'm sorry. That's not me. And this one, um, I went through like a scrapbook and I just put photos in here. My, this is my little uh, Christmas planner, but it's also my little December daily. Because I keep these lists in my December daily. So I went through and I put washi tape over the headers. And I just renamed those headers and used those line pages for what I wanted them for. I did, uh, these were, um, I did these for like reindeer games. But, you know, the kids don't like to play games, so we didn't do that. But I stuck pictures, uh, photograph. Any, no one's going to use all the pages in these things. There's going to be tons of pages left over. And I'll just go through there, and I stick my photographs in there. Where we didn't have, uh, you know, I still got a lot of photographs to print from last year. I just figured out how to do it on my computer get them off my phone <laughs> so I am printing photos today which has got me on here there's my wish list I make a Christmas wish list every year but this had list for uh, and it had a lot of miss you know it wasn't organized very well I don't know how to explain it but it, it wasn't organized very well it had a place for projects it had a place for um, all kinds of stuff and um, on here, I had these polka dot posy, uh, well here they come like this, it's a half letter, I just shrink them down to 75%, and then I cut them out and I stick them in here, like the menu planner and the uh, Christmas planner, and those were two pages I wouldn't have used, they were behind party and food, but uh, my baking thing. These are all polka dot posy. These are, uh, I bought these off of Etsy. Then there was the shopping list with the grocery list and the menus and the recipes. Recipes I had fun with. I, uh, I actually went through and put recipes that I wanted to try. But uh, I wanted it to be a Christmas planner. Also, I wanted it to be a keepsake because, like I said, my kids don't get down here often. I printed these. I took I took photographs of um, 
pictures in my gooseberry Christmas cookbook of recipes and then I printed them out on plain uh, tapping paper and uh, cut them down and glued them in there and but anyway that was the one I got a uh, year before last last year after Christmas they had another one and this is the one they had after Christmas and I thought what I will do this July and this one's laid out a lot better than that one was. This one has like holiday goals and it's got little gold trackers here and it's got your uh, your three months of pages. And since I'm aware of what I'm doing this year, I will start October the 1st. It's got the budget. Uh, in the budget section, it has like a checklist. See, you don't have to use that for budget because like I said, I don't budget. I will re uh, put different headers on here and use this for something else or I'll use it to put photographs in. And in the list section, I like the list section. This, this one's laid out so much better. I have my to give list and I've already put my names in there. The online shopping. This is going to come in real handy this year because of the virus. Then there's the Christmas cards. I send out almost a hundred Christmas cards every year, so this is probably not going to be enough room. But I'm I I have a printable from here from Polka Dot Posey for a Christmas card, so I'll just put that in where I'm not going to need it somewhere else. But then it has like uh, several checklists, and then under party, it's got party one, party two, party three. I will have one party, and then. Uh, the party section is laid out better because it's got the table setting, the budget part, party budget, party decor, and then the shopping list. And where it has the menu, it has the shopping list next to it. And those are going to work out a lot better. But on these, I, where I don't do all of that, I will just relabel this food and then I will put my menu planners in there. And, um,. Uh, I have already printed out some of these uh, inserts to put in there, but uh, this is the regular menu planner that I have and I shrunk it down to 75% um, so I'll cut it out and I'll put it in here and I'll have my menus planned for um, the month of uh, December. I plan to do a lot of uh, freezer cooking because I want to spend my time enjoying my family and not cooking all the time. But I'm really excited about setting this up and I've decided that this is probably going to be part of my uh, Christmas in July project. I'm going to try to keep this short so I can put it on my wrong end of the rainbow uh, YouTube channel. I may not be able to because if they're too long, I won't be able to. I'll have to stick it over on my Deborah G channel. But anyway, this is my project for um, Christmas in July. And I'm going to be setting this up. And I hope you'll come along and join me. Thanks for watching. May God bless.